How do you separate your feelings from the scientific objectivity that your theories require? Yeah, that's a good question. of our work, but I feel a bond with her. Hi, baby. I don't think science should be that detached. You're a miracle. Yeah. What is Dixie? Dixie was a highly intelligent hybrid between dinosaur DNA and an African gray parrot. But, you know, I really don't think that does her justice. Hello. She was way more than intelligent. She was a savant. So this is Mandarin, for those of you that don't recognize it. And Dixie now is familiar with, with this word and knows how to translate it into English. Ah, a girl. Good job. And of course, we have a control group, as you have to, the green linked macaw. And she's been working on the same thing. Meow. <laughs> The Arizona Center for Genetic Transmutation is a brilliant group of biotechnologists and dedicated to impactful and important work. When I saw Dixie for the first time, I, uh, uh, I was r rather impressed. But then, of course, uh, the obvious risks began to manifest themselves. Dr. Dodson, she's not just parroting, she's speaking Latin. That's wonderful, but the board won't reconvene until the next budgeting cycle. You don't oh. understand, she's leaps and bounds ahead of where we thought she'd be. I acknowledge that, but we opted for the most competitive No, 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 Dr. Dodson, you we, do know Latin I, is a dead language. she's only a year old. If fostering her cognitive potential is unscientific, I... All right, I got other things to do, but feel free to resubmit next year. You know, at first it seemed like no one was interested in anything we were doing. That was when we decided to start documenting everything and putting it online. Is this on? Okay. Is it in focus? Okay. Hold on. It... Yeah? Yep. Okay. All right. Do this. <laughs> I'm a man of science, all right? But when I took this job, I thought they'd have me doing space tomatoes or water on Mars or something, you know, normal. celebrate their latest attempt at making birds scarier than they actually are. I don't really think she enjoyed being famous. Watch those fingers, those teeth look sharp. <laughs> Dixie, are you okay? What's going on? Congratulations, Fleming. You're in the big leagues. Dr. Dodson, we're on the cover of Science News Magazine? Wait, are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Wow, this is so unexpected. Oh, and, uh... Clean Debbie here up. Uh, I want her presentable for the chromosome gala. Dodson, that's that's amazing, but 
Um, Dixie can't go into public yet. She's not ready. We've just started working on people coming. Uh, I'll see you at the gala, Evie, and uh, lose the sweater. You too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I've dealt with hippopotamuses, tigers, chupacabras, capybaras. Capybara, yeah, I mean, you named it, I've brangled it. I swear I ain't never seen nothing like that bird. After rising to stardom, the world is finally ready to meet Dixie. Rising to fame from the lab of her creator, Dr. Evie Fleming, the two make the first ever public appearance at the 12th annual Chromosome Genetics Gala. Mom? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh, no, not tonight. Without further ado, it is our honor to present to you Dr. Evie Fleming. Dodson, Dixie's gone. She can't be gone. We're about to go live. I don't know. She could be anywhere. Find her. We've got to get everybody... We're going to take a quick hiatus. Murphy, we got a code 99. Just in. After leaving a crowd painfully disappointed, the scientific superstar has escaped. Bolo, bolo, bolo. Watch your kids. Just like Madagascar. Grab the door. Ow. Are you gonna grab the door? Huh? she's out there somewhere and she'll make it she's a clever girl <laughs> 